Would you want a Chinese government official to be the UN High Commissioner on Human Rights? Would you want a North Korean diplomat to lead the International Atomic Energy Agency? Would you want to have a rebel general from the Congo leading UNICEF? I bet not. And would you want Russia to appoint the new director of the UN Drug Agency? Because Ban Ki-moon, Secretary General of the United Nations, has selected for the position of UN ODC director a Russian diplomat in the service of the Russian government, a country with one of the worst records on drug policy and human rights. Russia is experiencing the most rapid increase in HIV infections on Earth. There are more than one million people living with HIV, where two in three new infections are related to the sharing of injecting drug equipment by drug users. This perpetuation of the epidemic is directly attributed to the Russian government's disavowal of simple scientific evidence. It bans opiate substitution treatment, and it does not provide funding for life-saving needle and syringe programs. This situation is exacerbated by the condition of Russian prisons, the hotbeds of the HIV and tuberculosis epidemics. For drug users, the gulag is alive and well in these places. Prisoners with HIV and TB are often tortured and left to die without life-saving treatment. It is not surprising that Russia consistently seeks to block the inclusion of human rights language from international policies. At the UN Commission on Narcotic Drugs in 2010, Russia stated that the fight against AIDS is not linked to human rights. The UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon selected a Russian candidate, Viktor Fedotov, for UN drug czar. The directorship of the UNODC conforming to the Russian government's position on drugs and human rights policies would be disastrous. Send Ban Ki-moon an email telling him you do not want a Russian UN drug czar. Help spread the word and share this video with others.